Hey guys, Coach Steph here. Today we are talking about the three ways to maximize your results. So one of the benefits to having a coach is that you can progress so much faster than doing it alone. It's really hard to be the one doing and assessing simultaneously, so having someone else assist you in your progress will allow you to reach new limits much faster than doing it on your own. So when training or working out, there are three rules to live by. The first is form before load. So oftentimes people don't enjoy exercising because it hurts or they never feel like they are getting anywhere. Uh, Form has a lot to do with that. It allows you to safely practice movement and safe movement allows you more repetitions, which therefore creates more results. So learning how to move properly is very important. Take the time to learn the skill before adding the load. I promise, once you learn how to do the skill and you can move through the range of motion properly and efficiently, the load will come naturally as you master the movement. You'll also notice that your form doesn't stop when you leave the gym. Much of what we do at home and at work will reinforce how we move throughout the world. So you can see how similar uh, the hunched over in front of the computer position looks to the hunched over squat. So there are plenty of things that we can be doing um, outside of the gym to help us out. Working on one will also help the other. So thinking about how you move in your environment will help you maximize your results. So one simple step is just setting up your desk to be more ergonomic. So making sure that you can sit up straight in your chair, shoulders back, and uh, keep a neutral head by raising uh, your screen or your keyboard. The next thing is going to be uh, being coachable. So as adults, we tend to do what we want when we want to do it and very rarely put ourselves in a position where someone else is in control. The first step in being coachable is the the ability to be vulnerable and try new things. Your coach is going to guide you till you reach the very edges of your comfort level. Uh, Sometimes it may even require you to have the courage to fail. And by fail, I mean your first attempt in learning. So change only comes from doing things differently. And by being coachable, it allows you to progress not only faster, but a lot safer and uh, really test out different corners and crevices that you may not have even known existed. So let us be your guide. The last and probably most important and maybe hardest to do is going to be listening to your body. The phrase no pain, no gain should never be applicable to how your body feels physically. Yes, depending on your definition of pain, I do believe there is no growth or improvement without emotional or mental discomfort, but never physical pain. So understanding your body is definitely challenging and it can be really confusing to distinguish between things like the discomfort of your muscles burning during a workout and like the physical pain of actually overdoing it. So, what pain level do you think you should stop what you're doing? Look at this scale, take a second, and think about it. What pain level in a workout should you stop what you're doing and communicate with your coach? If you voted one, you were correct. Um, Oftentimes, um, this is not what I see in the gym. So, If you feel something's off, stop, communicate with your coach and let us help you either get in a pain-free situation, meaning we can help adjust your movement pattern, or we can change your movement altogether to get you pain-free. Sometimes that might mean stopping the workout altogether. It just depends on where you're at. This is really, really hard for so many people. A lot of us ignore or try to outwork the pain. Uh, When I ask athletes in the gym, Uh, when I see them grimacing in the corner and I ask what their pain level is on a one to 10, all too often I hear, oh, it's not that bad. It's like a four. For some reason, society has tricked us into believing that it's acceptable to be hurting during exercise and that you're a wuss or something like that if you allow it to stop you. Well, let me tell you, that is so far from the truth. When you feel a headache coming on, do we go start lightly tapping our head against the wall repeatedly to work it out? 
No, that seems absolutely silly. But for some reason in the workout arena, this seems acceptable. The honest truth is that your body is really smart and it's trying to tell you something. So listen to it. Altering one workout to accommodate for whatever you're feeling will be so worth it. If you don't, you might be risking overuse or even an injury. And then if you get to an overuse or injury, that means you might be looking at weeks of modified or not even, no workouts at all. So it's definitely worth listening to your body in the moment. The fastest way to maximize your results in the gym is to pay attention to the form before load, be coachable, and listen to your body so that way you can keep coming back for more.